they say Allah is everywhere. That's How? Ilmihi. In his knowledge. I agree. If you said the hand by itself and you never clarified it in your hadith, it would be perfectly correct. But the hadith has clarified exactly what you mean. That when you say he has a leg, it's going over something. It's become a liter literal context. No, it's become no, literal. It hasn't. You can no longer you can no longer you can't use that to me. Let me explain. You can now no longer say that he has a hand and we don't know what it is because it's become very clear as to what you mean what kind of hand it is it's very literal and you have specified him to a time and location so because so because for example do you believe Allah's height do I believe Allah's height Allah does he has height has, does is he, he is he tall is he tall I'm saying to you the literal understanding that I have is that Allah has mentioned he has a hand. Allah has mentioned he has a face. And Allah has also mentioned Laysi Kamithli he shape. But I don't I'm not going to be able to comprehend. Similarly, like the houses in Jannah, I know the houses of Jannah are gonna be like nothing we've ever imagined. Allah has hands and face. You, for example, now let's go to the traditions yeah, of Bukhari, which mentions his leg and face. Yeah, There's a tradition in Bukhari. You want the traditions now? No, get, it, get it from me, say. Yeah, yeah, but I remember yeah, yeah, one or two. Let me give you one of them. Okay. The hellfire will not be complete until Allah has put his leg over it. Shabazz, get my leg. Until Allah has put his leg over it. At which point the hellfire will say, Khatti, Khatti, take it out. At which point Allah will remove his leg. 